All right, guys, so the next step in fixing an ugly lawn is figuring out what's going on in your soil. Look at that soft, thick lawn my kids are playing in. Everyone that visited commented on it, but it wasn't always that way. It used to look like this. Ugh. Well, we sold that house, and so now I've got another ugly lawn to fix. Be sure to watch the whole playlist to see all the steps I'm taking to turn it from ugly to awesome. Now, there's a lot of products out there and they all claim to have great results and everything, but the truth is, it really depends on what your existing soil is like to determine which of those products you should be using or not. Um, so that's why a lot of products you'll see some people say did nothing at all, and other products people are like, wow, that was amazing, it, it did amazing. And a lot of times it has to do with different soil deficiencies. So if your soil is not deficient in whatever that product is applying, you're not gonna see the crazy result that other people are seeing. Um, so now this is a new house. And what I've done is I got some plastic baggies for the side yard, the front yard, and the backyard. And I'm gonna get soil samples for each one separately. Now in my last house, I did the same thing the first time I was there. Uh, might actually have been a couple of years in a row, but I noticed that they were basically identical. So I started at some point just doing one test with all the soil mixed throughout the yard instead of separating it. So I really do recommend doing um, a separate test for each section of yard, you're, especially the first time you're doing it. So that way you can see if there are any big differences um, because there might be. I've, I know some people who've had you know, huge differences between the front and their backyard. So the next thing you're gonna need is a tool of some kind. And so I got some digging tools. So we got the handy dandy shovel. This one actually has a free foot pad. That's so amazing. But ironically, I tend to push with my left foot so I could move it, but I just, I thought that was funny. Um, I got the handy dandy pro plugger. This has been a tried and true method for me. I really like this. Um, this soil is, wow, very compact. And then just a regular little shovel. What I like about this is it does have the inch lines on here. So you know four inches is there. And so your goal is to get a sample from around the four inch mark. Wow, this is wicked, wicked compact soil. Um, so you're going to want to dig down far enough to get soil from this area. Um, and the reason why is the roots are down in that area. And so now I know nothing's been applied to this lawn, so I probably could just scrape off the whole top layer, but usually something's been applied. And so there'll be a higher concentration on the top and it, by the time it gets down to where the roots are, there's a lower concentration. And so you wanna test for that. And most tests are assuming that you're getting soil from that depth. So they do the calculations based on that. But then when I came over to this spot, there's a whole bunch of clay. And, and it's like everywhere in this hole. It's not just down at the bottom, it's everywhere. And then I did another hold over there and another one over there and it was more like this soil. So I find that interesting. Um, I don't know anything about this yard now, so I don't know, you know, what caused that big difference or whatnot. But the idea is you do want to get soil from all around the section and then get in a baggie and mix it up. You also want to try to get rid of any like chunks of stuff or rocks. Um, this area is pretty good. We don't, it's been cleared out. I think this is one of the areas that was always pretty well clear because it was the walkway. Um, but in the backyard, you're gonna see those, probably a lot of twigs and pine needles and leaves and stuff. So that will have more of an effect. Um, so yeah, this is looking pretty clear. So you wanna, yeah, I like this size. I think they say around a, a cup or two cups. Um, I feel like this baggie is plenty of soil to get a test out of it. And there you go. So that's the front yard. Now let's go check out uh, the backyard. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing here and we'll see back. Go four inches down. So this soil is definitely much easier to work with. I could have used the pro plugger, um, but I already got this here, so. And I'm seeing a lot of roots and twigs in here. So we'll go like this. Got some over here. All right, now this area, I will be figuring out a way to level it at some point. There's a big dip. I'd like it to be smooth, but for now, it is what it is. All right, so if you look here in this clump, there's some uh, needles, chunks of stuff. So same thing, you wanna mix it up. Try to get any chunks of stuff out. And we're good to go. Now off to the last one. Oh, that's a fancy rock. My boys have been finding all the cool rocks. So I like to, uh, when I find one that I think they'll enjoy, I'll put it in a place that it's easier for them to notice and so they can have the fun in discovering it. This one's a lot more clay here, but I feel a big rock too. All right. <sighs> Lots of moss here getting in my way. All right, so there you have it. Now, this time I'm going to a local landscaper shop and I'm going to drop off the samples in person and they'll send it to a lab and I'll get the results. Um, I have used uh, the Soil Savvy Kit, uh, My Soil, um, Logan Labs. I mean, there's so many of them. Uh, I just this time felt like going to the, the guys that are local and trying out their tests and seeing what I might do sometime, not today, but I plan on doing a test where I take a, a massive sample, mix it up really well, and send it off to all the labs and then compare the, the results just to see. Um, but really, I mean, people get in a lot of fights over which, which results are best and all that stuff. But um, if you are testing your soil and getting results from any of the labs, you will be that much closer than people who aren't. So a lot of people just go to Home Depot, they ask whoever else is in the aisle with them and say, hey, so what do you think I should put down? That's not the way to go. So get a soil test. You'll be able to know uh, what um, nutrients your, so your soil needs, what you're missing, what you have too much of. And then from there, it's finding the right products that fill those gaps and don't increase the ones that are already too high to get the perfect balance. And uh, when I get the result back, of course, I'll share with you guys. But um, the reason, also the reason we had I had you do the leaf blowing and clearing everything first is in that process you're getting all the junk out of the way um, so i'm sure i think i showed last video all the leaves that were everywhere and pine needles um, it would be very difficult to dig a hole here without contaminating it with all that mess but now you can see the soil and i can actually see just how bad the grass is here and uh, go from there so on to the next video, I'll tell you the next step in fixing an ugly lawn. 
And uh, hopefully you guys are seeing that this lawn is ugly. And so it's gonna be a process, but I'll get it there to, I don't know if I can get it up to the same level as my old lawn, uh, cause I don't have irrigation. I got tons of trees. It's a diff totally different scenario, uh, but I'm gonna try to, and I'm never gonna stop improving it. And that's, that's the fun in all of this to me at least is um, every season I get the lawn looking a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer. Um, but the first first year or two, you should get some, you know, a big jumps in, in nicer. It's once you get to that higher level where, you know, my last lawn, I, I was really nitpicking, but most people thought it was perfect. So, um, but I enjoy that. I enjoy trying to take it to the next level every single year and seeing how far it can get. So I hope you guys will uh, follow along and get that same drive to just make it better, make it better, learn more, have more fun with this. and. Uh, see what you can do with your lawn. So, see you in the next video. If you like my videos, you'll love my website, grassdaddy.net. The lawn care planner tool will download the local weather reports every morning and build a lawn care plan catered to your area. The lawn care journal allows you to keep track of what you put down, when you put it down, so there's no more guessing or over or under applying any products. We also have a Lawn of the Week contest. Every week a winner gets a Grass Daddy t-shirt. And last but not least, there are application calculators and articles to help you identify and tackle problems in the lawn. So check it out. It's completely free. It's grassdaddy.net.